students in the previous session we discussed terms algebraic expressions and polynomials definitions of that and some related examples in this class we are going to study some examples related to polynomials and how to represent the different polynomials yes let us consider first example p of x is equal to x plus 2 what is p of x here we represented the polynomial with the letter p x plus 2 is a polynomial in this algebraic expression x and 2 are the two terms are connected by the addition that is plus in the polynomial x plus 2 x is the variable so if x is the variable in the given polynomial we may denote it as p of x so p of x is equal to x plus 2 a polynomial then consider second example y square plus 5y plus 6 how many terms are there in this polynomial yes we have three terms y square plus 5y and 6 if y is the variable in the given polynomial we may denote it as q of y we can represent q of y also we return y because y is the variable in the given polynomial next consider third example z q minus z square plus 3 here also we have three terms z cube z square and 3 in this polynomial z is the variable so we denote it as r of z so these are all the polynomials see here in these three examples in the first set x is the variable in the second set y y variable there are only one type of variable in the second set also one type of variable that is z let us consider one more example 3 x cube plus 2 x square y plus 5 x 3 x cube plus 2 x square y plus 5 x there are three terms what is the difference between this polynomial and this polynomial here we have one type of variable that is z only but here there are more than one variable this is also polynomial or we can say generally two categories of a polynomial based on the terms polynomials are classified into three types first monomial in this word monomial mono means single or only one so consider these examples 2x 5x cube minus 5 by 7 xz and 5 there are four examples see here 2x constant and variable 5 x cube constant and variable and the third example constant and there are two variables actually there are one two three terms but that is not true because the algebraic expressions like division and multiplication will not separate the terms so we are taking these type of examples as a single term so polynomials having only one term is called monomial because mono means single next consider second example binomial examples here x plus 2 p of x is equal to x plus 2 x is the variable in this polynomial so the polynomial is represented by 
p of x is equal to x plus 2. Second example, y square plus 2 and represented by q of y as a polynomial. In these two examples, the algebraic expression, sorry, algebraic operation that is addition and here also addition or we can take one more polynomial r of z is equal to r minus 2 sorry z minus 2 z is the variable in this polynomial so we represented r of z z and 2 are separated by algebraic operation subtraction so in these three examples the terms are separated by addition and subtraction addition and subtraction will separate the terms into two or more than two so we taken these examples are with the two terms polynomials having only two terms are called binomial by means two next trinomial consider the examples see how much terms are present in this polynomial p of y is a polynomial variable is y so 3y square plus 2y minus 1 there are three terms in the second set also r of z is equal to z cube minus z square plus 2 there are three terms and the three terms are separated by algebraic operations addition and subtraction plus minus separated three terms so one two three therefore polynomials having only three terms called trinomial tri means three these are the three types of polynomials based on the terms students now a question arises in your mind is 2a polynomial is 2a polynomial you may say yes or no answer how to check let us consider 2 2 is a constant but we can write 2 as 2 into x power 0 2 into x power 0 x is the variable x is the variable and its power is 0 its power is 0 x power 0 is equal to what x power 0 is equal to 1 because a power 0 is equal to 1 anything power 0 is equal to 1 so x power 0 is equal to 1 1 into 2 remains same that is answer 2 we can write 2 into x power 0 x is the variable and answer is 2 remain 2 is a constant so the answer 2 is a non-zero constant and it is called constant polynomial not only 2 3 4 5 6 etc or we can say all the non-zero constant polynomials are called sorry all the constants are called or non-zero constants are called constant polynomial yes 2 is a constant polynomial or polynomial what about 0 second question 0 is 0 a polynomial we can write 0 is equal to 0 into x or 0 into x power 2 or 0 into x power 3 0 into x is equal to 0 0 into x square is equal to 0 0 into x cube is also 0 if you substitute or increase the power of the variable that is x we get 0 so 0 is the constant and the constant polynomial 0 is called 0 polynomial 
0 polynomial 3 2 3 4 5 etc or non zero constants are called constant polynomial and zero is called zero polynomial degree of the polynomial what do you mean by degree of the polynomial before going to definition first consider the examples the first example 3x power 7 minus 4x power 6 plus x plus 9 there are four terms and the variable x is in this polynomial so we can write p of x also x variable what is the highest power of the variable in this example here x power 1 x power 6 x power 7 which is the highest value yes we know that the highest value is 7 so the highest power of the variable in this polynomial is 7 so this is called degree of the polynomial what is the degree of polynomial the highest power of a variable in a polynomial the highest power of a variable in a polynomial means in this polynomial the variable is x and it's the and its highest power is 7 7 is the degree of the polynomial what about the second example there are three terms and the variable is y or we can write q of y is equal to 2y square minus 4y plus 3 also what is the highest power of the variable the highest power of the variable is 2 therefore 2 is the degree of the polynomial next 3 3z plus z there is one and only variable z and its power is 1 degree is 1 there are 2 3 and 0 what is the degree of 3 as we know the constant 3 is the constant and constant polynomial we can write constant as 3 into x power 0 or y power 0 z power 0 variable power 0 x power 0 is equal to 1 1 into 3 remains same that is 3 what is the variable x what is the power of it 0 we can say 0 is the degree of non-zero constant and its degree is 0. What about the last question, fifth question, 0? Zero. 0 is equal to, we can write it as 0 into x power 5 or 0 into x power 100 or 0 into x power 1000 answer 0 only the degree of the variable are not fixed values therefore the degree of the 0 is not defined because if you substitute different powers in the variable we get different degrees so degree of the zero is not defined these are all about the degree of the polynomial okay students in this class we are discussed types of the polynomials based on the terms and degree of the polynomial in the next class, we will discuss some more. Thank you.